could all make a run for it. But not the intrepid gang of adventurers in this story. Their idea of a great time is to be right there in the eye of the storm, right there in Tornado Alley on America's Central Plains, the home of the deadly twister, in the middle of one of the worst tornado seasons on record, with me in the bus alongside them. But it's not all thrill-seeking. There's a scientific edge to the daredevilry, a determination to solve the mysteries behind these devastating freaks of nature. You see the ro rotation? What? You're about to witness one right of nature's most down. violent acts. <laughs> How's that? Hey, now that's a tornado! It's being played out on the central plains of America. Tornado Alley. Look at what we've got here! Each year, this wild weather sideshow attracts people from around the world. This is major, David. Major. People who place themselves in the path of monster thunderstorms in the hope they will spawn a tornado. Go to a basement or storm shelter. If no shelter is available, lie flat in the nearest ditch or other low spot. And... What we're caught in is uh, what they call a condensation tornado. And uh, the hail that's landing on us is the size of, well, very large golf balls. Um, there's a huge front. And yeah, we've got to move. Um, there's a couple of kilometers wide. And it's headed for Oklahoma City. For me, that storm was terrifying. But it's what Australians Jimmy DeGuara and David Crone have come halfway round the world for. Oh, look at the hail! <laughs> that is just incredible. Look, hail falling. I just love the, the, the concept of being there, seeing the beautiful structure of the storm. You're, you're seeing, essentially what you're seeing is, is air um, being processed into a, almost a living thing. I see it as a living thing. Is it exhilarating? It's fantastic. Is it, I mean, is it an adrenaline thing for you? It is. This is what we came for. Oh, mate. Time to go, mate. No way. Sometimes you get a bit close, but it's kind of calculated. I mean, we don't, you know, I don't want to lose my life chasing storms yeah. in America. I want to enjoy them, document live, them. Live to see another one anyway. Tornadoes have always been the black holes of meteorology, the subject of intense weather study. No one knows when and where they're going to form. They are, in fact, atmospheric accidents. There's just so much in motion. They're just moving and pulsing and surging and cycling. And it's just, it's, it's so dynamic, so alive. Look at this. Look at that. Just, just phenomenal. You see that little figure six right in there. Gary England knows more about tornadoes than just about anyone. For 32 years, this meteorologist has been based in the heart of Tornado Alley. We know in general, moisture and wind shear and wind speed and all these things and air going up, we know those. But when you get down to specifics, you look at a certain thunderstorm, what is really going to cause that rotation, we, we don't know that. And I always tell everyone, a tornado can land in your front yard and you'll be the first one that knows about it. And that, that's a distinct possibility because that can, it can happen that way. It's tornado warned. It's got three counties tornado warnings on it, and it's it, it's a it's a it's a look at what has the more the classic super Zelda. Yeah, I head west here. Roger Hill is a storm chaser. Oh my goodness! There's a storm right here. Since 1990, I have seen 226 tornadoes, which is probably a record. It's more than any chaser that I know alive. And every tornado that I see it makes me as excited as the first one that I ever saw. That cold dense air sinks. Roger has, has sink, turned his obsession clouds, with extreme weather into a business. Every year during the northern summer, he conducts tornado safaris. You'll hear it a couple of different ways. You'll hear it, okay folks, let's, let's just get back in the van so we can move on, or you'll hear it, get back in the van! Storm enthusiasts pay thousands of dollars for a 10-day extravaganza across this, middle this, America. This, this storm is incredible. I, I think a lot of people think we're twisted, <laughs> but, you know, I mean, everyone I tell at home that I tell that I'm going storm chasing, they'll look at me like I'm absolutely crazy. Uh, but you're not? No. <laughs> you sure? <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> it is an adrenaline rush, yeah. Yeah, I mean, here's something that, uh, you know, like a big grizzly bear, something that uh, you, you can sit and look at and, 
and just uh, you know be in awe over the, over the power and the massive size of it, but if you make one wrong move, it'll kill you. Along the shear line here, you just get incredible motion, but uh, yeah, unless we can get something that can really concentrate itself in one particular area and start rotating, it won't produce a tornado. You're a whole lot more calm than I am about standing underneath this. No, it's, uh, you're, we're in no danger here at all. That's a formidable supercell over here, folks. That's a very nice supercell. Day after day, for hours on end, Roger and his customers traipse across the countryside in search of the elusive twister. We're getting good, some good stuff up there. At breakneck pace, they chase one storm after another, with no guarantee of success. In our pursuit for a tornado, I think uh, we've just encountered one of the worst storms I've ever seen in my life. And uh, the storm chasers are certainly living up to their reputation that they're chasing. Uh, God knows what. We've been travelling at more than 100 kilometres per hour in conditions which are just ludicrous. You can barely see in front of your face. And uh, I, to be honest, the, I've had the living daylights frightened from me. It's risky and you get a carload or a truckload of people out there because, as I mentioned before, tornadoes are different. They don't behave the same way every time. I think it's a dangerous business and, I, and uh, I, you know, I wouldn't go on one. Wow. Violent development, violent tornado, very, very strong tornado. How competitive is it tornado. with storm chasers out there? It used to not be competitive until the movie Twister came out in the mid-90s. It used to be you could go out and be on a storm all by yourself. There'd be nobody out there. Now you go up and down, you get in front of a big big supercell and you may have 100 cars parked along the side of the road. You know, it's, it's only a matter of time before somebody gets themselves in a position where they want to get really close to a tornado. They want to be up closer than anybody else because of the competition and they're going to die. Does that worry you? Yeah, it worries me a lot. Worry you that you could be amongst that? You never know. But Roger Hill believes the risks are worth it, and here's why. The Holy Grail, a tornado in all its terrifying glory. Normally people are quite safe because the warnings are good, but there's a lot of terror, a lot of fear because you're helpless. If that thing is coming down your street, there's nothing you can do but get to shelter. And if you haven't taken the safety precautions, you're in serious trouble in most cases. More than a thousand tornadoes touch down in America every year. And already this season has been one of the most destructive in 30 years. For the storm chasers, it's sport. But for victims of tornadoes, it's devastating. Every year, lives and homes are lost. In May this year, this footage captured the moment when a family's property was dramatically swept away. We come right from the south here, just right, right in that area. You can see where the wheat's twisted. That's basically where it's set down at. Randy okay. and Linda so Robbins were way. six weeks from moving into their dream home in Attica, Kansas. In fact, they were here, working on the house when the giant tornado hit. And the funnel came down, it was like they came together and just started swirling and picking up dirt out of that field. And uh, that's when he said, it's going to hit us dead on, let's go to the basement. It was a decision that saved their lives. As they clung to each other in the basement, above them, their home was being torn apart. Well, I had her like this. She had me like this. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my wings spread over, and uh, we didn't have any sucking feeling or blowing around. We could hear things moving a little, but uh, of course, when the doors come in, as she quoted, all hell broke loose. It takes a while to realize that everything, and just, I, I was probably homeless, and 10 minutes when it was all over. 
So I mean, I drive in, you see everything, and 10 minutes later, everything's gone. Coincidentally, Australians David and Jimmy filmed the same tornado from down the road. At some stage here, the house is either gone or just about to go. And, and how do you feel knowing that a family lost a home? I mean, it's, it's terrible from a personal perspective, I mean, but it's, I mean, you know, these things occur year in, year out. You know, it's a part of life here and it's sad, it's like bushfires in Australia, I guess. It's something we can't control. Do you think we're looking at a potential tornado? This has uh, got a fairly good rotation, you can see. This uh, has become an annual pilgrimage for Jimmy and David, but the past four years, they've come here to study tornadoes. Can you remember your first tornado? It's like talking yeah. about sex. <laughs> it is, really. Yeah. <laughs> can you remember your first time? I can indeed, yep. And, and, and how was it? It was great. Ah, oh, look at that! What more could you want? All we know about tornadoes is they begin as thunderstorms. The challenge for people like Gary England is to be able to predict which storms will produce tornadoes and more importantly, when. We have a long ways to go and I don't know when that's gonna happen. I think it, you just continue to do the research. You continue to use radar and other measurement devices to look at thunderstorms, look at tornadoes and measure what's going on and, in, and do the solid research that's going to lead us someday, we hope, to saying that storm right there is going to produce a tornado between 3 and 3.30. We're not there yet and may not be there for years. Oh my God. No matter the danger, wow. it seems there's no stopping those who thrive on the thrill of the chase. Big tornado just off to our north. I will chase storms as long as I am able to chase storms. I always said, I want to die. I want somebody to push my wheelchair out in front of an F5 tornado and let me go that way. That's, that's the way I want to go. That's the perfect end for you? It is. It would be. That's, that's extraordinary. That's a man who's committed. <laughs> or should be committed, one of the two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at it, folks. Look at it. Oh, my God. Look at the motion at the base of this thing. All right, Tim, take us around. We got to go. We got to go. Coming up. Oh, 